Sean at GetAgrowIt.com. Thanks for checking out my video. Hey, here we are. It's almost like mid-October, okay? And I'm excited because this garden is still producing all kinds of good stuff. I mean, look at right down here. Look at this. These are my peppers, man. These are my sweet... Here, hey, hey, camera guy, come right on. You know, I, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm training a camera guy, and it's unbelievable. It, it's always hard, but to, to find good help. But anyway, look at that red pepper. These things are loaded. As long as I don't get too much of a heavy frost, I should be in pretty good shape. So I got just a bunch of... Hey, yeah, camera guy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, hey. See, I'm telling you, these, these camera guys, you, you can buy them a dime a dozen, I tell you. Man, I got to keep working with this guy. Anyway, hey, follow me this way. So look at this. So I got those red peppers. Look at down here, man. I got all these habanero peppers. Hey, if you haven't seen my video yet on dehydrating peppers, you got to go back and take a look. In fact, I think I'll link it to this video so you can take a look. But these babies are nice and hot. These are a great, great pepper. All right, so let's go this way. You can tell, you know, this whole thing's been down here for a while. My zucchini beds and my tomato beds. But I got to tell you, all kinds of stuff. Like, you even look in here. Here we are. I, this just doesn't typically happen. But here we are in, you know, middle of October. And look at that. That is a blackberry. Hey, right up here, camera guy. Watch this. Mm, mm, mm. That might have been just... That might have been a little bit too close there, camera guy. Like, you know, when you go like this, it's like, whoa. Anyway, so come on over here. I got jalapeno peppers. Look at these babies. Now, some of them have been hanging on here a while, but some really nice peppers on here. Look at these things. I'm telling you, you can't get this stuff anywhere. Anywhere. You can get it. You can get it if you grow it in your own garden. I'll tell you that. Look at my kale. This thing is incredible. By the way, I'm smelling this thing here right now. This is uh, a great... Um, um, I don't know if I want to call it a spice. It's really an herb. It's called shiso. S-H-I-S-O. It's a really great thing to add to a stir-fry and stuff like that. So, hey, you look over here. Look at all these berries. This is all red raspberries. This thing is loaded with them. In fact, i got to get out here and start picking some more before I lose them. These things will keep producing right up to the frost. So, I'm hoping we get, you know, I have at least another two weeks before that happens. Look at this. Look at this bed. This is one of two beds of parsley. This thing is just loaded with organic parsley. I'm telling you, it's awesome. Look at these babies. Yellow. Gotta like these. Let me just pick this right off. Look at that. Man, I like to just take a bite of it now. Like, arr, Look at that. And I'm telling you, this thing probably weighs like, you know, almost a pound, I'd say. Maybe I'm exaggerating just a little bit. Beautiful pepper. We'll bring that in the house here in just a little bit. And, again, if you haven't seen my, uh, my video on dehydrating, you've got to check out these babies. See if I can get my camera guy over here. See these guys right here? Scorpion peppers. I've already dehydrated a bunch of these things, and they're still producing. Look at them all. They're all over the place. This is good quality stuff. Right behind the camera guy here is some carrots. Well, there's some weeds left in there, too, but there's still some carrots. Hey, I just noticed, look at this. I got a little summer squash right here. In October, a summer squash in New Hampshire. That's like unheard of. All right, come over here. Look at this, look at this. I got more stuff to do in this garden you can shake a stick at. These, my friends, are beets. Look at that. My wife and I ate a bunch of these beets last night. Sweet, they're absolutely wonderful. And beets, you know, when it's cooler temperatures, the beets are sweeter, they just thrive better. When it's, uh, when it's cooler. So I've got all kinds of beets here to deal with as well. This is pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. And then the last prize is this. Let me check this out. Hey, camera guy, keep up with me. Look at him. There we go. Yeah, I hope he doesn't fall. Oh, there we go. Look at this. This, or these right here are sweet snap peas. I've got to tell you, look at this. Let's come in real close to that flower. Look at that. Awesome. Sweet snap peas in October. This is like a spring thing, but you know what? I always get a second crop even out of my sweet snap peas. You can't get fresh sweet snap peas, you know, at least that are locally grown up here. So here we are, October, and that's what I'm doing. Hey, listen, the value of growing your own stuff is the stuff's like, it's almost like cash. You know, you know what I mean? You're going to save, well, for me anyway, I'm saving literally thousands of dollars. I've got 140 some odd quarts of sauce in my house right now, tomatoes, crushed tomatoes. Not only am I saving money on those, by the way, because I haven't bought a canned tomato in probably 20 years, 
but I actually bought a turkey with my jars of tomatoes. I really did. I had a guy work on my house, and about three weeks later, he contacts me and says, hey, uh, I have like a bunch of turkeys and goats and chickens and stuff. Would you barter with your tomatoes for like a turkey or something for Thanksgiving? And I'm like, my eyes went this big, like, yeah. I'm telling you, 12 quarts of sauce and four red peppers, and I got me a stinking organic, free-range, happy turkey that I get to pick up in November for Thanksgiving. I'm telling you, it's worth it. Just growing your own stuff. It's fun to do it. You're going to save a whole lot of money, and the best thing is you're going to eat a whole lot better. Hey, remember, you and just a little bit of me, we can go a long way, baby. Thanks for checking out the video. Peace out.